the number 17 has always played a huge role in my life, presenting itself in both blessings and curses. Did you know the number 17 in the Bible is the symbol for victory and perfection? It refers to spiritual perfection, really. The restoration of everything it means overcoming the enemy and complete victory. Can you think of a lie you told that damaged someone's whole existence? If you don't know what heaven feels like, I'll show you what it feels like without it. The Lord said to Moses, put back Aaron's staff in front of the testimony to be kept as a sign to the rebellious. This will put, this will put an end to their crumbling against me so that they will not die. Moses did just as the Lord commanded him. You don't even want to know what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> Number 17, 12. <laughs> and the Israelites said to Moses, we will die. We are lost. We are all lost. Anyone who even comes near the tabernacle of the Lord will die. Are we all going to die? 17.4 and let them be sore to open the tent of meeting in front of the ark of witness where I come to you. People at 17 connected to their name are complicated to deal with because you do not know if they are good or bad. And the rod of the man who is. I know what made me follow this path. My father hired 17 people he seemed brightness in to be part of his company. 17 people he believed just need the chance to shine. But they all lied and their deceitful venom and ego would cost them their own lives. They became nothing more than just ants under my microscope and reflected under the lens of my hatred. I'm willing to suffer for the consequences of my actions, but not until every one of those 17 traitors do first. They were looking for the roses in the bush, but you forgot about me, the torn waiting by its side, ready to make you bleed for trying to take what wasn't yours. Lots of fish share the ocean, but mackerel never fuck with sharks. Because they know better. Number 17 says <sighs> Moses gave the orders <laughs> to the children of Israel <laughs> and all their chiefs <laughs> gave him rods. <gasps> One for the head of every family. Numbers. Seven day and seven. Moses put the staffs in the Lord's presence in the tent of the word of God's promise. Numbers 17, 8. Now on the day after, Moses went into the tent of witness and he saw that Aaron's rod, the rod of the house of Levi, had put out buds and was covered with buds, flowers, and fruit. 
1710. And the Lord said to Moses, Put orange rod back in front of the ark of witness to, to be used as a sign against these false hearted people so that so that you may put a stop to their outcries against me and death, death may not overtake them. And the children of Israel said to Moses, Truly destruction has come on to us, and evil fate has overtaken us all. All of you 17 traitors lied. Anything to boost the career these days. Some of these tales to the media, and accusing an innocent man, destroying his credibility and everything he worked hard for. Resulting in my father taking his own life to free himself of the torment inflicted on him. Now, I've made it my mission to inflict my own on them. Numbers 1713. Anyone who approaches the Lord's dwelling will die. Are we doomed to perish? Like 717. They will lick the dust. Snake. <sighs> like creatures that crawl on the ground. <laughs> they will come trampling out of their dens. <sighs> they will turn in fear of the Lord our God. <sighs> they will fear him greatly. <sighs> trampling in this. John 17.4 I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. John 17.5 Father, glorify me now in your presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. John chapter 17, verse 8. For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them, and have come to know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. John 17, 14. I have given them your word. And the world has hated them because they are not of this world. Just as I am not of this world. Congratulations. Great performance. Now you know. What happens next? John 17, 15. I do not ask you to do out of this world, but I think that you keep them from the evil one. John 17, 19. For their sake I consecrate myself, that I may also be sanctified in truth. Now take this shock. You know what happens next. Oh, and don't even think about blasting me with that, okay? I'm already equipped to handle myself. Actually, do you know what? Go on, do. Granted, I'm sure there's nothing you would love more than to blast my brains all over this concrete. But I think you know what will happen if you do. Not to you. <laughs> You're already dead. But your family. John. Father, I 
desire. Are they also whom you have given? Be with me where I am to see the glory that you have given me where I am to see the glory that you have given me because you love me before the foundation of the world. My name is Warner Samson. Warner means a protector of the people. A defending warrior, and Samson meaning sun, the one in the sky, and biblically meaning a judge of Israel, endowed by God with superhuman strength. Tonight, I will say goodbye to Seventeen. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Now I'm not going to waste any more of your time, Number Seventeen. Okay, now, um, repeat after me, John 17, 26, I've made known to them your name, and I will continue to make it known, that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. Now your turn. The main problem of these people tied to the number 17 is even if they are following the good path, they are always faced with the temptation to move away and opt for the bad one. Almost as if inside they were fighting two forces at all times. But what makes us follow one path over the other? 